Dear friends and followers, today we'll be talking about a question which was asked by another YouTube subscriber named London Heathrow Spotter. He wrote, Joe, how do you receive the weather information at your destination airport you're approaching in flight? So it's more or less uh, today about the ATIS. We're gonna start off that we'll imagine we're flying from Frankfurt to Gatwick. So prior to our flight, me and my captain meet up in the briefing area where we gather all important information for the flight to England. Information about any possible changes, departure and destination airport, maybe a taxiway is closed, maybe an instrument, landing system is out of service, or en route navigation aids may give false information. And of course, we check the weather. Once in the aircraft, we have to perform takeoff calculations to get the necessary takeoff speeds and power settings. But therefore, we need reliable and accurate weather information. So, at one point, we're going to consult the so called ATIS, which stands for Automatic Terminal Information Service. The ATIS is a continuous broadcast of recorded aeronautical information at the airfield. On all airport ground and approach charts, you'll find the necessary ATIS frequency. Yes, the ATIS is transmitted via radio, so you tune in the appropriate frequency and then you will hear this. Frankfurt information, Mike. Met report time 1220. Expect ILS approach and way 25 right or 25 left. And way and use two five right and two five left and one eight. Attention, flock off birds in the in the vicinity of the airport. Transition level seven zero. Wind three two zero degrees one zero knots. Wind and way one eight three three zero degrees six knots. Maximum one zero knots. Variable between two five zero and zero three zero degrees. Visibility one zero kilometers. Showers in the vicinity. Scattered three thousand six hundred feet. Broken six thousand feet. Temperature one eight two point one zero. Q and H one zero one three. Or two nine decimal nine one no sick information Mike out. Okay, let's go through the message step by step. The lady starts off by saying Frankfurt information Mike. First off, you know you have tuned in the right frequency because there are airports which are using similar ATIS frequencies. Frankfurt information Mike means that the current broadcasted message identification is Mike. The message will be in the air for the next half an hour and then Information November will be published until the end of the alphabet and start over again with Information Alpha. There are exceptions. Should there be a sudden change of wind or runway or any other significant change, the tower controller will publish an updated ATIS message. Met report time 1220. Here she states the time when the ATIS message was first broadcasted. So in this example at 1220 Zulu. So the next updated message November will be broadcasted a half an hour later at 1250 Zulu. Expect ILS approach and way 25 right or 25 left. This is interesting for pilots who are coming inbound for Frankfurt. So she informs the pilots which runway is active for landing. In this case, it'll be runway 25 right and 25 left. And way and use 25 right and 25 left and 18. This is interesting for pilots on ground who are preparing for departure. All runways including runway 18 are in use for departure. Attention, flock off birds in the, in the vicinity of the airport. Now she's stating a hazard in the vicinity of the airport. Transition level 7-0. The transition level can vary from airport to airport, but more about that in another video. Wind 320 degrees 10 knots. This is the wind for arrival and departure runways 25 right and 25 left. 
It's given in magnetic heading and an average wind speed component. Bend and weigh 18330 degrees 6 knots maximum 10 knots variable between 250 and 030 degrees. Here she states the wind at the departure runway 1A, which in Frankfurt is only for departures. And she mentions the maximum wind speed because the wind is variable and could be a tailwind during departure. And a lot of airlines and airplane manufacturers have a tailwind limit for departure. Visibility 1-0 kilometers. There are instruments installed at the airport measuring the horizontal visibility which becomes interesting during operation in foggy conditions. By the way, when it comes to visibility, everything is measured in meters. Showers in the vicinity. This is just a reminder that there are showers in the vicinity, so whilst you're in approach, you could anticipate if the shower would might approach the runway by the time you actually land. Scattered 3,600 feet, broken 6,000 feet. This is to give you an idea of what the cloud layer could look like and at which height you'll be free of clouds. Temperature 18.10. Temperature and dew point, obviously. QNH 1013429.91. Here she states the local air pressure at the field in millibar and inches of mercury. No sick. Information, Mike. Out. And therefore she ends with the message and starts repeating it over again. So after receiving the ATIS message, we do our calculations and prepare the aircraft for the departure. As we request our startup clearance, you're going to have to state which ATIS information you've received with the letter given in the message. In our example, it was Mike. The reason therefore is, is that the air traffic controller wants to make sure you have received the correct ATIS message so that we are aware of the current weather situation at the airport and of the active runway. Because he could have updated the ATIS message in the meantime due to a possible wind change or runway change. So now we're airborne and we're preparing for our approach into Gatwick. So at approximately 100 nautical miles inbound to the airport, we'll try to receive the ATIS. You want to make sure that you receive the current one. For example, if you're looking at your watch and it's reading 1247 UTC, you might want to wait another three minutes until the updated ATIS is being broadcasted. To not get surprised after setting up for approach and the air traffic controller says information Charlie is now uh, current and runway 26 left is now active so it's completely a different one and you're gonna have to set up all over again and you do not want that to happen, trust me. <laughs> so the answer to my followers question is to get accurate weather information of your destination airport, we tune in the ATIS frequency, listen to it, write it down, the information, and prepare for approach. There are other ways of receiving the ATIS, for example via telephone, obviously only if you're on the ground, or via ACAS. And there are also other weather information services in the air, like the Volmet for example, but more about that in another video. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I've answered another aviation related question for you. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll be happy to answer your questions via video blog. So give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel and spread the word for more videos like this. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time. Your Captain Joe.